Hello. All right. We have a beautiful morning this morning. Absolutely sun shining in. It's a beauty out there. The moon is trying over to Mercury and Pluto. So this is sort of a deeper look at something that is hidden. A deeper look at the occult. A deeper look at astrology. A deeper, deeper look at tarot. A deeper look at um, the tumor that's growing in your grandma's belly because they're slicing her open right now and removing it. That is the sort of vibe Pluto and Mercury have together. Then the moon is going to move along and it's going to oppose Jupiter. So in the moon op Jupiter, we usually find uh, explosions of people coming out. So when there's chats or you're watching something live, this will bring that out. It'll bring out more people, more chatting, more ideas flowing around, more information being shared. At the same time that it will be opposing Jupiter, it'll also be trying with Mars. So that's even more of a come out and share all your information sort of vibe. It's real friendly. Libra Moon is a very friendly moon on her own. And the aspects that she's making today aren't unfriendly either. They're all harmonious. After she opposes Jupiter, she'll be trine to Mars, and then she'll be in conjunct with Venus. In conjunct with Venus, it's Venus exalted. So I'm not going to give, and it's Moon and Libra. They're both Venusy. So I think that's just some sort of resolution that is made. Some sort of re resolution comes up there. And then it will in conjunct Uranus and then trine over to the Sun and Saturn. So overall, you see, the only sort of weirdness is an in conjunct with Venus and an in conjunct with Uranus. But this is Moon and Libra. When Moon and Libra annoys someone, it's, it's hardly an annoyance. L Moon and Libras are sweet. It might be a long wordy lecture with a lot of pretty words in it. That might be how Libra annoys you today. <laughs> there might be some Libra looming around with their thesaurus out ready to get ya. Yeah, so that's it. That's just a little short video. I like to tell you guys what the moon's doing up there. I could make these on the AE map, but I got a lot of stuff to do today, so I didn't want to do that. It takes me a while to draw out on that map. And we don't need to, because this is it already. My general readings like this, they're just meant for the general weather overall. You absolutely all have your own unique chart that is slightly different from everyone else. Even a twin or a triplet that is born on the same day as you, your chart will be slightly different. So keep that in mind. Even though these are great transits, it could be hard for you personally in your own chart. So I don't want to downplay any of that, but overall, generally, this is a nice day in astro weather. And okay, somebody asked me about twins and triplets in my email yesterday, and I want to, I'll talk about that here for a minute. So yeah, that does, that's a good thing. I've always wondered that too. So I happened to actually, in 2006, one of the first online places that I joined as a chat, uh, forum was this place called hippiemum.com. A lot of the moms, because they were in another forum together for twins, all had twins. So e almost every mom there had twins, except for those of us who didn't. Yes, Dom Mary. And I heard all about twins. And that's what I heard then, too, because I was talking about astrology back then, too. And people were wondering, why are my twins so different if they're born on the same day and only a few minutes apart? But I will just say, are they really different, you know? Uh, when you grow up with somebody who's exactly your age and who looks just like you, it is a completely different world than any other loner, singular child out there. When you have a best buddy that you can almost mind meld with, you will notice the twins. One of them starts to take the more dominant role. And so it happens. And then the other one will just naturally feel like that more dominant twin is saying what they feel anyway. So those kind of things will go on. You'll see that going on. But then you'll also see, you know, their, their little dynamics that they've got going. 
because the one twin that is getting things out more is going to be getting more attention to the other twin. So the other twin is going to see that. So there's always this battle along with them, right? But my point is, take them apart. Take them apart. I mean, I know that's cruel, and I don't want you to actually take your twins apart. But if you did take them apart, and you had one twin with dad and one twin with mom, and you could look at them separately, I think you would really start to notice they're not as different as you thought. It's just in the dynamic of when they're together, one is going to be more dominant. Or they might take turns with that. And maybe their ascendants are hugely different. You know, maybe you had one baby and the, the, the other one only a few minutes later, so they have the same ascendant. Or maybe you had the baby half an hour later. I hope that clears things up a bit. And those are just a few points. And feel free to elaborate down below. Do you have twins? Do you know very many twins or parents with twins? And have you seen that documentary where they broke up twins and triplets and adopted them out to other families? There's one where they took these triplet boys and you just look it up. Triplet boys separated at birth and then find each other later. They all went to the same school. They all ended up picking and going to the same school. There is, it's way too easy to generalize and put things aside and I'm not trying to do that at all. It's a, it's a full on study. Every single person, you all have a unique chart and there's plenty of things going on. It's a lot of work, but share down below. Every little bit that people share is important because, you know, it's your personal experience in life. And if you know twins or if you know anyone who's a Libra moon or if you know anyone that has the aspects I talk about in the videos or anything, feel free to leave a comment because other people come and read and it's all a learning experience. So, yeah, have a nice day. I got a big list of stuff to do here and I'm trying to enjoy my coffee before I get going.